hey guys welcome back to engineers tech up channel so in this video guys we will discuss what is a static member and its execution flow in java okay so last video guys i have discussed what is uh sorry uh, last video i just discussed about of a uh, final variable right and variable topic right in last video also i have discussed a static right if you remember what is the static keyword and this is your interview question as well sometimes they will interviewer will ask you what is the static in java right and today we will discuss you know static member and its execution flow okay first of all again i will repeat regarding the static keyword so a static is a modifier in java so why we use the static when you will use the static then you should not create an object a static means we have a single copy of memory okay so sometime in the interview they will ask you one more member is there that member is called main method right so main method is also static so you can see in the main method we are not creating an object to access the main method but how the main method will execute main method will execute you know because main method is a static and for a static member jvm will provide the memory for a static member so we are not creating any external memory for a static right so what happen jvm will give the memory understood right so you can access a static member directly or you can access using the class name okay hope you understand okay so i say static member so how many members are there in a static right so we have a static variable then we have a static block then we have a static method main method and one more member is there guys in our a static class so in our a static class we will discuss later we will uh, have a separate topic for that but in this session we will explore this four member a static variable a static block then a static method then main method so why this tutorial i am trying to give you because in the many interview they have already asked if you have a multiple member then um, what is the execution flow so suppose i will give you the practical guys so just i am trying to explain in this video the next video we will execute all the code okay so please do not watch to uh, uh, miss next video okay so in the next video we will give you the practical example how we can execute we can write the code in this video understand again from there also i will repeat the same thing so suppose you have a one class suppose i have created one class okay just visualize this in this class i have defined a static variable i have defined a static block i have defined a static method i have defined main method so suppose this is the order i have defined okay so in this case what will happen so when you will execute your code main method must be required okay so before main method we have a static variable then we have a static block okay so before main method jvm will check main method is there or not if you will not define the main method definitely you will get run time exception but before main method we have a static variable then we have a static block okay so it will execute a static variable and a static block okay a static variable and a static block will execute in which order you are defining suppose you are defining a static variable first then a static variable will execute then a static block will execute okay when you are defining a static block first then a static variable then a static block will execute then a static variable will execute then control will come in your main method in main method where are you calling the method suppose you are calling the method before a statement in main method you are calling the method before uh, printing means print a statement then this method will execute then print a statement will execute when you are calling the method after a statement then what happen then uh, 
दिस स्टेटमेंट विल एग्जीक्यूट देन मेथड विल एग्जीक्यूट सो दिस इज द ऑर्डर वी हैव फॉर द एग्जीक्यूशन फ्लो I know if you are a beginner in this video, you will not understand hundred percent. But this code, I will execute in next video. So please watch next video as well. Then you will get more clarity. And this is also interview question. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you are new in the channel, please subscribe my channel and press bell icon to get new video notification. See you in the next video. Bye bye.